In this video, we're going to see one of the most recent features of Canva, which is creating websites. Now, at the moment of recording this video, this is still in a beta stage, but let's uh, get going. And the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to write websites. And as you can see under the suggested, we can see the websites tab. Now, at this point, we're going to see all sorts of different templates uh, as usual. And uh, in this case, what we're gonna do is we're going to select uh, a free one, which can be uh, one of these. Now, I recommend you to check out one with uh, a number of slides so you can see in the bottom left hand corner the amount. And uh, uh, we're going to simply select this first one as a start and uh, as you can see now it's loading up and uh, basically we are greeted with uh, this uh, template which uh, as you can see we already have a few different uh, sections in this website and uh, the different sections are divided up uh, in uh, ways that uh, mimic uh, our real website so we have uh, a main headline that we have uh, the about us uh, what we do etc etc now the question that you might be asking now is uh, okay but is this an actual website this looks like a slide uh, and uh, it is however if you check out this uh, section in the top right hand corner you're going to be noticing uh, a difference compared to the usual uh, options because we have this publish as website now the moment we click on publish a, a website you can see that we have a few different options which aren't available in the other type of design projects the first one being scrolling or actually presentation so this is going to open the website in a presentation uh, slide so it's just going to be almost like a PowerPoint. You already are familiar with this. However, if we change and mix things up, and this is really where the magic happens is when you start selecting options such as scrolling. So if I click on scrolling, you can see that first of all, I have this nice animation, but as I scroll down the page, you can see that this is literally a website with different sections and uh, as I'm scrolling down I'm going to be able to see these different sections appear with uh, their animations and uh, overall this uh, is uh, really useful and uh, just makes it look uh, and, and feel and actually makes it a real website. So if we go back uh, and uh, we go to classic navigation, we can see that we have uh, now a, another option, which is uh, having the name of the design file right here. So if, for example, we change this uh, to uh, site and we go back uh, and we refresh, uh, we can see that now we have uh, <coughs> the site name over here. On the top right, we're going to have the different sections. So I can uh, literally click uh, and go into the different uh, menu items, which you can uh, easily change uh, by simply renaming uh, the uh, current uh, page. So if I go over here and I select uh, this text and I copy it uh, over here and uh, let's go back or actually let's do that for all of these so this is going to be the home or the main section this one's going to be the what we do section and this one's going to be the our impact here we're going to have our leaders and here we're going to have the get in touch now if i go back and uh, i still select the classic navigation and i click on open website you're going to be able to see this update uh, immediately. So we have both uh, the website name and uh, the different uh, navigation items here on the top right. So this is really something that uh, enables us uh, to take charge and create a website in pretty much no time. 
Now, at the time of recording this video, however, um, one note that I want to make is regarding the responsiveness of this. So as you can see, we do have the side menu. Um, however, the responsiveness uh, still needs uh, uh, to be uh, updated. Maybe I'm sure that they're going to come up with uh, some solutions in the future. Maybe by the time you're viewing this video, they already have one. But uh, that, that is something that uh, you have to keep in mind. And uh, you probably can work around it by creating uh, a layout which uh, is already going to work well uh, with uh, smaller devices. So keeping the typography uh, size uh, uh, big and uh, things of that nature could help uh, for sure. But just something to keep in mind as a whole. Oh, let's uh, also explore this uh, last uh, option, which is the standard. So single page site with navigation bar. And if we click on it, you can see that uh, in this case, we have uh, the navigation, but there is uh, one important change. And that is that the top navigation item is fixed. And uh, basically what that means uh, is that uh, as you scroll, uh, you're still going to be able to see it and you can still interact uh, with the different uh, sections of uh, this uh, website. So definitely something which is really cool. And again, you can uh, easily go into these slides uh, and change up uh, the uh, entire uh, color scheme and uh, feeling. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to change this uh, slightly and uh, we're going to actually go ahead and uh, mix up, uh, for example, the colors and also these elements right here. And let's uh, make this section more uh, light. So let's go over here. I'm not sure I can select, uh, I can change this, this icon, but okay. We're simply going to get rid of it. And instead, what we're gonna do is we're going to add a line. Actually, I need to go under the element section, under line, bring the line over here. And let's uh, bring it up just a little bit. And now, Let's increase the size. Let's make this one black. And I'm going to make this uh, white. So as you can see, if I go back to the home, nothing changed. And even if uh, I uh, refresh at uh, this moment, uh, uh, the updates uh, aren't all the way up. So what uh, I recommend you to do <clears throat> is to always uh, open up the website uh, uh, directly so that you're going to have the latest uh, updated version. So as you can see, you can change the theme and uh, basically each and every element of this design in uh, pretty much no time. If you want, for example, a smaller headline and smaller call to action, you can do, you can do so directly, publish, and uh, here you go. And of course, you can leverage all of the other elements which we mentioned in uh, the previous videos, such as uh, the styles. So if you want to change the, the style of this website uh, in uh, a very fast way, you can easily do that uh, directly like that. And uh, as you can see, we're having a, a very different uh, feeling and uh, overall, uh, we can change uh, everything in a matter of seconds. So this is pretty much it when it comes to the website so far. It's a very exciting feature that uh, Canva has pushed out uh, and I'm sure that there's going to be uh, much more coming up uh, in the next uh, months.